Way to the bank before I realized I didn't have it. What is with this charger? I only have three bars. I really can't talk right now, Mom. I'm getting shampoo in my mouth. Okay. All right, see you at dinner. Want to share a towel, too? Door. Can he have lunch first? I wasn't talking to you. No, you have someone crashing in your attic, too? No, I'm learning my lines. Can I help? No. Can I make the sandwich? No. So, how was the rest of your day? Mine got off to a really strange start. I was taking a shower. Yeah, you know what? You can make a sandwich, and you can eat it, too. I have to practice being drunk. Can I help? No. I want to. It's okay. What if I do want to? That's okay, too. First, mac and cheese or fluff and fold? Heart was beating, thump, thump, speeding faster when I saw your face. Mom! Hot. It's pretty good for a man without a spleen. I still have it. I just shot a hole through it. <laughs> Remind me again where that scar is. Mm. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh. All right, this uh, hiding stuff is getting really old. Yeah, tell me about it. This is my third cleaning in the last two months. Well, your gums look great. I mean, seriously, everything that's happened and we're still in the same place. No one has heard from A since Garrett got out of jail. You know, maybe that was the end of it. Do you want to risk it? If it was just us, yes. But we'd be taking chances for other people. The ghost train isn't going to be as fun without you. Yeah, it better not be. Well, then again, spooky atmosphere, hot music. If the right mysterious stranger comes along, 
Who knows what might happen? Maybe something like this. Okay, no means no, Opera Boy. Stop! Why did I ever think that you would need protection? I'm just stopping by to tell you that I'm going to be off the grid for a couple of days. Why? What's going on? I'm going to New York. I have to do some legwork for the design business Lucas and I are building. Do you want me to go with you? No. Thanks. I mean, it's no trouble. This room's getting kind of old, actually. I Caleb, just... I'll be fine. Okay. Um, where are you going to stay? I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, I gotta go. Well, have a safe trip, I guess. Yeah, she's gonna stay there. Thanks for bringing me home. Are you okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I told you guys what happened. I know. So then why do you keep asking me if I'm okay? I guess I'm waiting for an answer that I believe. I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't buy that. Seriously, Caleb, you can go. All right, there's a cop right outside my door, and he's not moving. Well, neither am I. Seriously. What are you talking about? Hannah, the last time I left you in a room alone, A.D. took you. So I hate to break it to you, girl, but you're stuck with me. Well, I really want to be left alone. Why? You have somewhere you need to be? You know, you are a real pain in the ass. So are you. Excuse me? Hannah, you don't do dishes until they mold. You eat french fries in bed, cold. You don't gas up the car until it starts beeping. You won't admit that we're meant to spend the rest of our lives together. You send food back if the waiter breathes on it funny. And you know what? There's probably milk in that fridge that's older than me. What did you say? <laughs> Not the milk? No. I never want to spend another day without you, ever, for the rest of my life. Like I said, you're a real pain in the ass. <laughs> well, I came prepared, just in case.
Can I kiss the bride? 